Hi there, salty friends. Thanks for coming here to watch the first ever Inside Look video for Coral Magazine. I'm your host, Alex Rose, Associate Editor of Coral, and this will be a recurring video segment where I take you on a shallow dive through the pages of the current edition of the magazine. So today we're going to be checking out the September-October issue, which is heavily focused on the topic of modern aquaculture and the role that it plays both currently and in the future of our hobby. So let's have a look. Our first article is an interview with MASNA president, Travis Knorr, that will give you some insights into the challenges this organization has faced in the last few years, as well as what the plans are for both MASNA and MACNA in the near future. Our reef vision section is next, where you get a super close-up look at some extraordinary marine life, including this ridiculously gorgeous platygyra from Tidal Gardens that you see right here behind me. The next piece is all about coral farms, and we get a detailed explanation about the differences between ocean-based mariculture facilities and land-based aquaculture facilities, including the pros and cons of both. Following that, we discuss how coral farming is a positive way forward for the reef aquarium hobby and get to check out some truly impressive facilities around the world that are aquaculturing an amazing variety of corals for us. Next, we head to the state-of-the-art Red Sea Research Center in Saudi Arabia, where we get to tour the innovative facilities at KAUST and learn about the important research being done there on deep-sea corals, coral reef restoration, and sexual reproduction of hard corals. Then we have a great article from our other associate editor, Amanda Meckley, that profiles ACI Aquaculture's facility in Plant City, Florida, and the extensive work that they're doing to move the needle forward towards a truly sustainable hobby in the near future. Next, we travel to Indonesia, where we get to learn about the tumultuous history of coral mariculture in this country, as well as the transition to land-based aquaculture currently being spearheaded by Bali Aquarium's Coral Farm. A trip to the Greek Mediterranean is next, and we get to live vicariously through our author's snorkeling experiences, detailed here as exciting and informative underwater anecdotes. Then we get to enjoy a detailed profile of the beautiful 180-gallon SPS-dominated display aquarium of Joseph Muscat that contains nearly 150 distinct species and color morphs of coral. Next comes a species spotlight on Ketodon semilarvatus, a beautiful striped butterfly fish that hails from the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden. Our last article is an interview with the team of Eco Harvest Hawaii, a tropical aquarium fish aquaculture facility with the goal of creating a consistent, sustainable, and high quality supply of ornamental fish into the hobby. There is, of course, lots to learn in this edition of Coral, so I hope you're already subscribed to the magazine so you don't miss this issue. If not, though, you can always purchase this edition from our back issue shop on the Coral website. I hope you enjoyed this exclusive inside look at this brand new edition of Coral. If you like this video, please be sure to click subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.